Okay, so that's um, wood drying, but there are circumstances when we use wood in its green state, and probably the most um, commonly encountered would be the working of green oak. And rather magically and fortuitously, I picked a green pen entirely at random out of my pocket. Isn't that incredible? Um, green oak, uh, you work oak in a green state, and this is normally um, for timber frame building, so it's a traditional building method, uh, but it's beginning to get more popular these days in construction. Uh, and uh, the oak is worked in a green state, so you square it off and cut all the notches and the tenons and the mortises and everything in the green state, and you assemble the structure in a green state, and then over a period of probably several years, that wood dries out. And what happens as a consequence of it drying out is that cracks start forming in the wood. And uh, if people don't know what they're talking about, they're absolutely terrified by the presence of these cracks and thinks that, think that that indicates that the wood is failing in some way and that it won't be uh, structurally sound, which is absolute nonsense. The wood's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, which is shrinking when it dries out. And you can't help but have cracks in green oak buildings when this drying out situation occurs. It's just perfectly normal and natural. If you don't like it, uh, you can actually put notches in the wood, such as like that. So the grain looks something like this, looking down from the top. Uh, and that notch will hopefully take account of that drying, uh, those changes in dimension, and you won't have cracking on these other faces, but obviously that face needs to be hidden in some way. So that's one way of dealing with it. But I mean, this is what's supposed to happen. A lot of people think it looks quite attractive. It's just that some people worry that somehow the woods become structurally unsound, and that isn't the case. So that's green oak. You can actually have uh, chestnut can be worked green and then allowed to dry out. That's another common technique, and you can do all sorts of things with it in the green state that you can't do once it's dried out below the fibre saturation point. You can bend it and twist it and do all sorts of things like that. Um, you can do other things with wood when it's been dried. Uh, you can then, if you want, you can steam it uh, and then twist it into a shape and let it cool down and then that shape stays where it is. So steam forming can be employed for things like chair backs. It's been used to build um, the hulls of boats. They quite often steam the wood for that. Um, so you don't have to then dry the wood prior to that because it's useful to have the moisture in there. So there are cases where you would use wood in a green state and then allow it to dry out naturally through an air drying process.